Welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to be reviewing some of my doll play sets. Um, my collection has grown since the last time I made a video about this. Just to note, I am not bragging in any way. I just thought of this and it sounded interesting. <laughs> the first play set I have, I think this was about $30 on Amazon. I bought this last year. It is an aerial carriage from Hasbro. So it moves back and forth like this, and then the seahorse actually moves along with it. So it's actually really cool. Um, it came with an aerial doll. I unfortunately don't have her anymore. I think I gave her away. I had this one though. She came with another playset. This is Ariel. Of course, she's not in mermaid form, but it clips around her waist as so. And then you just push it back and forth. And I originally um, tied a string around it and just pulled, just pulled it. <laughs> Cause you know, it did not remote control um, vehicle. I really like the remote control cars that Barbie has made. I only own one, but I thought this was really cute. So we have a little seahorse here. We have Sebastian, we have a little waves. We have some nice seaweed right here. We've got some shell wheels, we have some more water. And then at the front, we have a beautiful Ariel sitting on a clam. We'll get more water. And then behind her is another, her little throne. Super pretty. This was $30 on Amazon. I liked it a lot. Super pretty. I have not used this in a video yet. Um, but I might in the future. Not sure. Okay. That's it for this playset. Okay, the next set we're discussing is the Barbie Grocery Store that came out last year, I believe. Um, here am I, I'm just chilling here. It's my crazy hair. <laughs> um, so here we go. Again, I am missing some of the pieces because some of them are, are actually stored up. Because I have so much doll stuff and it's just hard to contain it. Also, a lot of it is in containers and boxes. Um, I am actually missing a little sign here. I have all the accessories, it's just all in these little Ziploc bags and boxes. But here we have the checkout. So what you can originally do, I'm just gonna take a bit of this for an example. So it came with this little thing of olives. It came with a ton of food, but again, most of it's in storage. So what you do, put that out, put it in, and then it drops it out the other end. Super cool. I only used this set in like one or two videos. That was in the past. It's super cool, very modern. It has Barbie at the bottom, it has the little, um, yeah, the little check out here. We have some chips, some food, some fashion magazines, all that nice stuff. Again, I've been missing some pieces, so <laughs> ignore that. Okay, it did come with one little aisle groceries. So here we have the freezer section, right here. So again, most of this is in storage, so there's not like one little carton of eggs down here. But we have produce, we have eggs, we have cheese, we have sodas. This side is dry goods, um, nothing on here really. And there's a little basket that came with some fruit. But most of this actually, most of it isn't really store, but it's mostly in my Barbie Dream Camper. <laughs> Silly me. Um, so we have, like, you know, more of the great like, pantry goods. Then we have some soap, paper towels, and then this is where you would weigh the fruit. Of course, I don't have the little basket. <laughs> This right here is the shopping cart. Very nice. Of course, I have my phone in there. And the dolls can just hold it by the handles and it rolls. There we go. This came with the Barbie. I still have her, but I prefer the more joint dolls. So she can just roll it. Super nice. And that's basically it for the grocery store for this Here is the next thing. This is the Barbie Dream Horse. <laughs> Uh, I got her, I think, two years ago. Yes. She's pretty old. <laughs> she is missing her clip. I don't know where that one went. Uh, again, a lot of this has been storage, so it's going to be a little dusty. Uh, so, here's the dream horse. Super cool. She was like $100 or something around that line. Um, without the clip, it's going to be hard to demonstrate. <laughs> but she can dance, and she can walk, and it's really cool. And then we have the reins, and you can just put these on the doll. Just... 
And since she doesn't have knee joints, she can't get in the stirrups, but that is okay. And then to turn her on, there's a little button here. And if you pet her, I think she responds. There you go. Uh oh. she dances <laughs> as you can tell I'm not gonna put the doll on her because I don't have the clip plays two songs it's actually really cute that's gonna be it for now, but you can actually stroke her and we'll like stroke her neck and she'll respond. Uh, I can't put this on my floor because it is wood and for some weird reason her hooves always get stuck in the, you know, in between the two pieces of wood, so. Yes, this is the dream horse. I call her Sugar. So, yes, that is her. Now, I don't usually show up my little ponies on this channel, but I do want to show you guys what I mean by storage. <laughs> okay, so here I have, uh, I don't even know, hundreds of my little ponies. And then um, I use these in my in my, in my my Little Pony channel. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Um, and if you want to go subscribe, there's obviously going to be a link. And then there's a link to my gotcha channel. Of course, I don't post very much. But I have four bags of these, and there's like, I don't even know, 20, 30 something ponies in each bag. Um, a lot of these are really rare, some of these aren't. But since my these, since these My Little Ponies are getting more discontinued nowadays, I, I'm, I've been collecting them for years, ever since I was really young, so. Here we have, so this bag we mostly have, so we have him for the My Little Pony movie. She's a rare one. Yeah, it seems like, okay, here we have some vintage ones. Like generation two, I think. Here we have the My Little Pony movie, Sea Pony Fluttershy, uh, a custom right there. Now I often store a lot of my things in bags or boxes, sometimes shelves. So there's this one stuff. Okay, this one has a lot of Twilights and princesses. So here we have Maud, Pinky Sister, Twilight. Um. We have Derpy from the Pony Movie, a custom, we have a Sea Pony Pinkie Pie, um, a Super Fluttershy. Um, here we have another Princess Pony that's in that bag. This bag is basically coming undone. Here we have a custom Pinkie Pie from a series I used to watch that this uh, Pony Tuber did. We have a Lyra, a sparkly Pinkie Pie, a Generation 2 My Little Pony, a super rarity, a Princess Twilight. Uh, we have a Rainbow Dash, Princess Cadence, Cheerily, another Cheerily, another Rainbow Dash. We have a Scootaloo, Applejack, um, Princess Luna. Here we have Sora, and he's just stuck. Again, tons of My Little Ponies. <laughs> this one's not as stuffed. I might just take these out and show you. Okay, since this bag is not as stuffed, I wanted to show you guys some of these. Okay, he's really old, keep that in mind. Uh, she, this is Rainbow Dash, the super one. She's in okay condition, her hair's a little bit matted. Again, I'm a huge collector of toys, so I have mm, a little too many. Here we have Tempest Shadow, she was from the My Little Pony movie. You can see her, super pretty, I like her a lot. 
she's in decent condition her hair is just a little frizzy but like the actual pony itself is good okay i love her a lot this is my nightmare moon i don't know why she has a <laughs> she's backwards here we have nightmare moon she was in one of my most recent videos um, I usually post like once or twice a month on that channel. Uh, super cool. This is an official Nightmare Moon. I got it in an actual My Little Pony set and not from some like <sighs> sketch place. Super cute. Well, she's not really, she's actually really like evil. I used to be totally obsessed with that show. Super cool. I got her like, I don't even know, five, six years ago. I got a lot of these are old. And some of these are over 10 years old. <laughs> She's wearing a bun. Here we have DJ Pwn 3, our vinyl scratch. That's what some people have called her. She was from the My Little Pony movie. I like her because she has a little bent hook. Super cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Princess Celestia. I used to own tons and tons of My Little Pony play sets. She came with the My Little Pony Princess Celestia castle. Um, her hair is a little frizzy. Um, she's missing her crown and her hair is not in the best condition, but she's super cool still And then most of the ponies used to have this code where you could scan it and play the app. <laughs> I never did that though oh, Okay, I have an, a welly wisher skirt in here. I don't even know why I don't, I don't know. I just when American Girl came out with welly wishers I like bought two and then I'm like nope <laughs> I have a little welly wisher skirt um, Don't even get me started on this custom Again, I was crazy obsessed with Cookies or Z back then, so I tried making one for it. It turned out pretty bad. Here we have Starlight Glimmer from My Little Pony. She's in, she's in decent condition. I've had her for a while. I don't know, three years or something. Okay. Here we have a Water Wings Pony. Just goes like that. Nice. Well, she's a little dirty. Again, these are really old. <laughs> she smells like, I don't even know. She's pretty dusty. <laughs> we have a Rainbow Dash here. Oh gosh, his hair. Why do I keep saying he? Her hair is crazy. She came with a really, oh, a really round head. I don't know why though. Nice. The last pony is, again, a really badly made custom. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm not very artistic. Um, her paint has chipped. I painted her, I don't even know, three years, I don't know, it was like three or four years ago. Uh, I don't even know what I was going for here. Her eyes look pretty poorly drawn, like one's bigger than the other. Her wings are chipping. I didn't use very good paint. This used to be Fluttershy. I, mark, I put marker on her hair. This little, I don't even know what I was doing, guys. <laughs> okay. That's it for My Little Ponies. I just wanted to show you guys like my doll accessories and stuff around these little Ziploc bags. It just it just saves time. It just saves you know money. This you can like you can get like I don't know twenty of the thirty something of these bags for like thirty bucks. Uh, it's an easy way to store these. And since I don't film very much on that channel, <clears throat> I don't really find a need to like put them in shelves because I used to actually have shelves on my wall for these. But then again, I. I have not gotten rid of them yet. Um, I actually have an extremely rare one in one of my bags that would probably sell for over $100. Uh, maybe one day, one day. Because eventually I'll have to stop YouTube. It'll probably be many years from now, but everyone stops eventually. But yeah. One day I'll probably sell these. Not the customs, because that's just pretty bad. I might give these to my, I don't know, someone I know. <laughs> or I don't know, repaint them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be making more of these videos because it sure me have a lot more play sets. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. They don't notice how far away I am from everyone and everything. Silly to have gambled with my heart out on the line. I guess that's just the way. Someone